wow. Since wowing crowds in 2011 in Australia's Got Talent, Melbourne-born magician and escape artist Cosentino has become an international star with sellout live shows and TV series as well. In his new autobiography, Anything Is Possible, he shares his road to success and the near-death dedication that it's taken. Please welcome to the cafe, Cosentino. Yay! <laughs> nice. Wonderful to have you in the studio with us. Thank you very much. Now you started off a book of magic that you stumbled upon when you were really young that changed everything for you, didn't it? Yeah, I was a very shy, introverted little boy with a lot of uh, learning difficulties. I was that kid that would sit up the back of the classroom and avoid being asked a question, and then the teacher would say, "Oh, could you could you read out loud?" And I would I would burst into tears, and I'd come up with all these. Uh, clever excuses to disguise my disabilities. I was the kid that would copy off other students. Mm. and um, But one day I'm in the library, which is the last place I wanted to be, because <laughs> yeah. I couldn't read. And I'm in there, and my mother is a school principal. Okay. And so that kind of made it even more challenging. And I'm in the library, and I'm looking through the books, and I stumble across a magic book that had beautiful pictures, old vaudevillian pictures of famous magicians, Houdini, Thurston. And my mum sees me looking at the book and it's open and she's like hallelujah there's a book opened <laughs> she runs over she says what are you looking at and there was a, a magic book and she took it home she started to read it to me but more importantly there was magic tricks in the back of the book and she read the tricks to me and I learned the tricks and she kind of taught me how to perform magic and that was my first reading experience. And it all went from there. You know, and I tell you what, if you've seen Cosentino's show, imagining you as that shy child who mm. wouldn't say boo is very difficult because on the stage you've got this incredible presence. Th well, first of all, thank you. <laughs> and that's why I want to share my story because people see the stage show, they see the TV shows, they see, you know, hanging upside down, burning ropes, water tanks, confidence. But it wasn't like that. I, I, I made that. I created that. So it's really important for people to understand that there's a, there's a journey that you go through and there's a process. So I was that kid, and it's a very, very a different beginning, humble beginning. Wow. And a, a fantastic story as well. I mean, watching that clip right at the start, I can tell that it's not just the magic that you like, it's every single element, the design, the journey, the presentation, and that I think is reflected in this book because it is absolutely beautiful, that Thank book. Thank you. Two years in the making to, we didn't want just a, an autobiography where it's a, a whole bunch of text, and, and photos jammed in the middle. I said, that, that's not what we're going to do here. It has to be gorgeous um, from start to finish. You can pick it up anywhere you'd like. I talk about my inspirations, Jim Kelly, Fred Astaire, Walt Disney, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I teach some magic tricks in it. The first trick I ever I did to per, uh, perform to my father, he's a structural engineer. I made a coin vanish when I was 12 and he said to me, he was a genius in my world, and he said to me, how did you do it? And I didn't tell him. <laughs> and that kind of kick-started everything. That's, so it's all in there. And that's the thing about magicians, because you do teach us some tricks. Uh, Houdini, you love Houdini, obviously. In fact, you love him so much that you've almost killed yourself trying to do tricks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, tell I, us about that. That, that is true. I, um, in 2010, I performed a stunt called Anchored. Put it in context, I had 60 kilos of concrete strapped to my feet, handcuff chain, and lowered five metres deep in the Melbourne Aquarium. Sounds like a bad idea right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and now it was a tribute paying homage to Houdini because a hundred years earlier, in 1910, Houdini came to Melbourne and he jumped off the Queen's Bridge into the Yarra. And I, I made a tribute to him a hundred years later, exact same time, exact same uh, day, and uh, performed my escape four minutes underwater live on television and lived to tell the tale. But he was here because he came to Melbourne to fly a plane. He was the first person to fly a plane in Australia. Fascinating. Wow. It wasn't so much that stump, but more Australia's Got Talent that sort of thrust you into the international spotlight. Mm. What was it like going on that show? Did it change things for you? It did. Um, that's a really good question. It changed. People say, how did, it, how did it change your life? How did it change your well, I was. I, I did the same act. I was the same person. But the perception of my craft and what I did changed. Right. And Australia's Got Talent opened me up to an audience that maybe weren't used to seeing a magician or an escape mm -hmm. artist. And now I was in a competition and I managed to come runner up on that and it, it kind of exposed them to it. And I thought, wow, this is, this is great entertainment. So it was actually life changing. And you've done Dancing with the Stars as well. Yes. Did you win that? I, 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 somehow I managed to win wow, that. Wow, nice. And um, <laughs> that, 
that was a huge challenge. They, I think originally they said 10 hours a week. It was 10 hours a day. Oh, no. So it was a lot of work. <laughs> well, speaking of work, we're going to put you to work in just a minute. We're going right. to find out a little bit more about yourself and also we're going to see one of his magic tricks. So don't go anywhere as we'll be back in just a minute with the fantastic Cosentino. Make sure you go and grab a copy of that book too. It is a beautiful story, but a beautiful book as well. We'll be back straight after these. <laughs> Mark is serving up that Samoan salmon poke and Ota Ika. Now, though, we are back with incredible illusionist and escape artist Cosentino. Now, you it's a bit of a family fair, your show, isn't it? You have your, your mum, your dad, your nonna, everybody, your brother all work on the show with you. They do. It's cheap labour. <laughs> cheap labour, and they have to say you're great. And also, you've got a, right. a new baby, a new fur baby who's I, travelling with you, too. Yeah, La Luna is my little oh, French girl. We've got a picture of her oh. there. She is just adorable. Yeah, she's cute. We'll put her to work. And yeah. gonna, she's going to be in an illusion. You make her disappear. Yeah, and appear. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and also, um, your other half, Priscilla, is in your show, but she's just gone on to do something incredible as well. You're such an incredible little group of people, aren't you? Yeah, so Priscilla is my assistant on stage, but she's now in the new musical back in Australia called The Bodyguard. Oh, wow. So, which is great for her, but I've lost my principal uh, assistant. Oh, no. It's so we, no, it's not, but we did a huge, ca a huge uh, casting call. We had hundreds of people apply to steal her job. I'm yeah, available. You're av <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you What do I need to do? Do I yeah, need to that, that cut me in that, half? Yes, I can yeah. cut you in half. We'll get the half that doesn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. OK, so look, um, your journey, which I think is incredible, from a guy that couldn't read to a guy that can now write books, um, is fascinating. So go and read all about it. Um, let, uh, let's get into a trick. You got one all for right. us yes. before I'll we go? Yes, stand up for this. OK. 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 okay. okay. So a uh, packet of playing cards, it's very simple. We won't use the whole pack, we'll use just, uh, we'll use four cards. But I'll show you, it is only four cards. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay? Yep. Right, the first card that you'll look at is actually the Joker. You can see that there? Yep. yep. Right there, perfect. Okay. So, Mal, your job is to hold on to the joke. Like that? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Okay, right. great. See, look, 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 you're, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great yeah. job. This is your audition, Mal. This yeah. is your audition. <laughs> and the next card is also the joker. Okay, we can see that too. So, Mike, your job is to hold on to that joker. Mm -hmm. Don't take Parallel, do the same thing. You can okay. be a good assistant too. Great. Yep. And then, of course, we've got joker and joker. So, the point is there's four jokers. Right. Yep. Okay. So, I put my jokers together. But like the show. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I put my jokers together. Watch. Watch what happens. Watch. Watch this. As my jokers transform, uh, uh, but do you know what's really? No, do you know what's really impressive? Turn over your card. No, don't. Oh, how did you do that? <laughs> now we're all as magic. I don't even feel anything no. different. There you go. That There's no magic. tingling in my fingers. Joker. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Joker. Wow. And that's that is why, why you're the I'm expert. banned from the casino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, funny you could take him. Uh, thank you so much for that. Yeah, Fantastic. You. I love you. I've loved your work since oh, day dot. Um, it's been an absolute you. pleasure having you on the show. And Cosentino's autobiography, Anything is Possible, proves exactly that. It is on sale right now in all good bookstores. Now, let's check in with the magical <laughs> Holly. Yeah, I'm so amazing at magic, just like Cosentino, that I've made Jesse disappear. I think he's gone to the loo. But anyway, I'm over here. <laughs> 